What's up, guys? Ty Rivera here. You're the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. Louis C.K. decided to come back to stand-up, apparently. He did a set at The Cellar in New York. I guess to dip his toe in the comedy water again. Here's the thing. I notice a lot of debate going on online right now about whether or not he should come back and whether or not he owes anybody an apology. And I think where a lot of people get confused is they think that him jerking off in front of people is what the big brouhaha would be. As far as that goes, I'm kind of torn on that specifically because in some cases he asked and people jokingly said yes, which was by the admission of... Dana Min Goodman, who I very much like and very much respect, uh, but she does say that her and her comedy partner, they were, uh, they jokingly said yes, that he could jerk off in front of them, and then he really jerked off in front of them. So I guess they gave joking consent or laughing consent, which is a gray area for me, because it's like if you say yes, but you're laughing, then somebody, Wah! maybe it could have been a misunderstanding at that point, is what I would say. So uh, then they ran out, and I guess at that point, it's uh, very clear. But so I don't really think, like, in these situations, the asking is the problem or the doing is the problem. Because in another case with Rebecca Corey, he asked, and then she said no. And then from my understanding, he didn't do it in front of Rebecca Corey. But then he continued to try to hurt her career, where with D Dana Man Goodman and her comedy partner, it, 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 like, he did the same thing. It was a kind of keep your mouth shut or there will be a consequence to your career. Or his people did that. And that's what is reprehensible. Like when it comes to the actual fact or even just asking, sometimes people are like, well, maybe that was his thing and that's his way of flirting or seeing if it's okay. Like, there's nothing wrong, in my opinion, with flirting with people or testing the waters. It's when there's a consequence to them saying no. It's when there's a consequence to them actually talking about it or saying something about it. Because if you really thought there was nothing wrong with it, then you wouldn't think that you should have to threaten people with the consequence for talking about it. And that's where a lot of people don't get it. Then I see some people that were always cool with Louis C.K. Because we all knew. That's the other thing that a lot of people don't get when it comes to, like, the stand-up world. Everybody knew that he was doing this jerking off in front of people or asking to jerk off in front of people. Everybody knew. There was a blind item a long time ago where they referenced Dana Man Goodman and her comedy partner. and But every all of us thought it was Garfunkel and Oates that they were talking about, which if you're familiar with that comedy, Duo, Garfunkel and Oates is also a female comedy duo. So it was a blind item and it was written that way, you know. So that's who popped in a lot of our heads and then they denied it. And then Jen Kirkman like alluded to it and that was a while be before uh, he actually fully got exposed, so to speak. Um, and Jen Kirkman did another, like, blind item type thing and described him almost to a T. And, you know, the fact that he had a successful show. And then she retracted and said that it wasn't about him. So after a while, it just gets like, yeah, if everybody knew or a lot of people knew that we're in a circle, then why didn't they say something sooner? And why are these same people calling him to task now to apologize? Like, is the apology more important than stopping the act? Is demanding the apology more important than stopping the act? Because I will tell you, I did not know firsthand, but I'm sure some of these people had to have heard from Rebecca Corey firsthand, and some of these people could have at least lended their voices to it so that the victims could be more likely to come out. You know, if like the, like I saw Jackie Cation post about it, which I like Jackie Cation as a person. Uh, I've known her for a lot of years and I've seen her, you know, she works a lot and she is best friends with Maria Bamford and, you know, Patton Oswald is in, in with that crowd. And uh, like a lot of the really big alt comics could have come out and said something and been like, hey, we're hearing this. Is there truth to it? Or is it an actual thing? Because 
I think as many times as we all heard it, like I'm not even connected to Louis C.K. on any level, and I heard it a lot. Today, another one of my friends, Dan Wilson, uh, Dano Wilson on Facebook, we were on a thread together, and he was like, I was just open micing at the time. I was an open micer, and I heard about this. So it's been well known for years, and it just seems like it's a chance for a lot of people to get on a moral high horse that didn't do anything when they could have actually done something to stop it. So now that, you know, he's deciding to make a comeback, and he has already apologized for it, it, like, what I would want to hear from him, like me personally, I'll tell you what I would like to hear from him. I would like to hear an apology from him for the abuse of power. Because I think getting caught up in the masturbation thing, one, it's a little bit too fun for people, and two, as far as that goes, he really didn't do anything other than be a creep. Like, that was a creepy thing. And it was a sexual harassment thing, but it wasn't a sexual assault thing. And when you try to tell people that that was sexual assault, when even like when he did it, I didn't hear stories of him forcing people to actually watch. And the lady on the phone that said she heard him on the phone, that to me, it could have he could have just completed a run and been breathing hard because of that. Or if you really thought he was jerking off, just hang up the phone. I mean, like, so I'm not going to humor that one and act like that was an actual thing you know to me that was a person that wanted to be part of the movement and say something anyway let me know what you guys think i know some people are going to be mad about it whatever my hair is fucked i admit that we'll talk more i'm sorry i haven't done any videos for a while but i will be back on the horse now i still got to talk about more stuff to do with roast battle and stuff like that but this is ty rivera the absolute best lgbtq comedian in the world Looking like crap. I was in San Francisco working over the weekend. We'll talk about that later. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. Thank you. Bye.